I really am getting rather concerned about your wife lying up there unattended, Mr. Haynes. I, I mean, don't you think that somebody ought to go up to her? Look, bow up and get on with your wing foot. <laughs> if we went up there every time she started knocking, <laughs> we'd be up and down those stairs like yoga. Yes. Oh, God, you're a complete pickle. Well, I'm telling you, this hospital's got a rotten reputation, mate, so you want to watch it, I'm telling you now. Oh, really? It's a very bad you... reputation. How can it have a bad reputation? It's a fine hospital. Well, this is a beginner's hospital, isn't it? You know, where like, everybody sort of, it's full of students. <laughs> eh? I beg your pardon? I said, what? I didn't quite hear what you said, actually. I said it's, um, it's full of students. Oh, students. I'm sorry, I couldn't quite catch it. I mean, yes. you've got to learn somewhere. Well, this is a that. training hospital. It's one of the finest training hospitals in the country. Oh, no, they've got to learn somewhere, mate. I'll yes, tell you that, mate. They're <laughs> learning on you. But, but the point is, what you, you seem to forget is that also some of the finest Harley Street surgeons come down here to this hospital to practice. Oh, yeah, come down. Of course, they come down here to practice on you, mate. Practice on you. <laughs> they wouldn't practice on their own patients up in the West End, would they? They'd come down and practice on you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. You take it to me, mate. <laughs> Mr. Haynes, might I suggest that you swallow that before you continue? Well, I'll try, yeah. <laughs> we do not bung this money in our pockets. Well, somebody's bunging it somewhere, mate, because I'm not getting it. It's not bunged anywhere. This money is spent on the nation. Well, I'm a part of the nation and nobody's spending it on me. I mean, look at the suit I'm walking about. Me, a war hero. I fought for me country, up to me knocking, macking bullets. Up to you, up to you heard. <laughs> that sounds a most unfortunate predicament to be in, my good man. I've never been in a worse one, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Just tell me, how do you think that I'm even going to begin to try and find a person who has stolen forfeits? Well, put roadblocks up. <laughs> We're not putting roadblocks up for forfeits. Well, you don't have to, because I know where we had it stolen from. Oh, you do? Yeah, we had it stolen last night in the mission hut. In mate. the mission hut. <laughs> so all you've got to do is send one of your CI dokes down at the mission hut. What about what dokes? Just get on the phone, will you? The to, the, to the Times. Get on to the Times, will you? The Times, my lord, certainly. Yeah. What would you wish to say to the Times? I, I just asked them to... I, I put an advertisement in, will you? <laughs> um. You know what an advertisement is, isn't you? Oh, indeed, I yes, do, well, my don't lord. stand there grinning. Put an advertisement in and... Uh, tell them I, I want a new butler. Oh, I was just approving of your subtle humour, my lord. Well, I'm like that. <laughs> know what to say? <laughs> I was about to ask you, my lord. <laughs> well, you, what do you wish to say in your advertisement? Well, I, said, I, was, I want you to, to tell him I'd like a new butler, will you? Oh, but my lord, there's no necessity to advertise for a new butler. Why not? Well, I am your butler, my lord. Are you? Yes, my lord. Oh, well, you've saved me a lot of bother. <laughs> <laughs>